Mark and I frequently get asked what running shoes we use at the moment and also which ones we would choose to wear in theory, depending on different scenarios. Well, I thought I'd take this opportunity to walk you through the selection of shoes that I wear at the moment and also the ones that I've worn in the past. And that is gonna involve heading up into the attic and dusting off a couple of boxes because there are a special pair of trainers that I would like to share with you. I've also got all the event specific shoes that I've worn over the last few years for some of the competitions I've done. Plus I'm gonna be explaining what I run in now for training and why. Okay, I have decided to start with this pair. These are the New Balance Zante V3 sort of racing trainers, racing shoes, I would suppose. They come somewhere between uh, racing flat and a training shoe. And I've chosen these because they are the first pair of shoes that I actually went and bought from a running shop in about 10 years. And I was very lucky as an athlete before I joined GTN, I was sponsored by Adidas for I think five, six years, and as a result of that, I had quite a few pairs left in the cupboard, so I, they kept me going until I got to this stage. And I basically had an Ironman coming up, so I had the Ironman World Champs in Kona, as well as the half Ironman World Champs in Chattanooga, and I just felt like I needed a different shoe, and these came in and ticked the box perfectly. I hadn't run a New Balance for years, uh, they were lightweight, supportive, and most importantly, I felt they weren't going to give me blisters, and must admit, I didn't have any problems on the run in either of the events. I didn't use elastic laces, as you can probably see. I tied my shoes up because I thought in transition I would have time for that and comfort was more important for me. probably noticed on the channel that we are partnered with On and that's brilliant because we get a huge selection of shoes to try out but it does mean that when you suddenly go to a new shoe brand that you've got to work out the equivalent of what you liked in the previous brand and what works for you now and the Cloudflow is a pretty decent shoe to cover most of my racing. This particular pair I actually used for the Brighton Marathon. They got me just under the three hour mark, so I was pretty happy with that. And as you can see, there's not really any marks on them. I got no blisters and they were really quite comfy. And these are my go-to shoe for anything up to a marathon. Um, depending on how conditioned I am, if I was in very good shape and felt like I had the enough control and support, then I might go to a fur slightly further distance than them. And I would use them for as something as short as a 5K, unless I'm feeling really fast, that is. So they're a neutral shoe. Um, they're pretty lightweight, but they've got a fair amount of cushioning. There is now an updated version, which I have used recently. You might have spotted them on the treadmill when I'm trying to feel a little bit lighter, but generally I'll save these for racing and I'll use a slightly sort of, I guess, heavier, more shock absorbing shoe for my training. Well, talking of training, this pair have seen some decent miles um, and yes got me through the winter but I don't wear them very often these are the cloud ace and they were the first shoe that on brought out that actually had a little bit more support so it just helps with preventing you from over pronating so it does give that bit of extra support and I still wear them now when I'm not very fit or I'm getting back into running and I'm just wanting to go for a sort of a bit of a plod run and I've worn them quite a bit this winter because I got quite out of shape and just felt like I needed a little bit extra and there's something quite nice about wearing a shoe that is a bit heavier that when you then go to your lighter pair you feel really good and when you want to do your faster session so I do still dig these out occasionally when maybe I'm just feeling a little bit tired and I might feel that my feet need a bit of extra support and also they're dark so they're good for the mud. All right, this next pair have been through quite a special race with me. And you might notice, those of you who've done it, you might recognize this little timing chip. And it is from the Comrades Ultra Marathon. So I ran 87 kilometers in one go in this pair of shoes. Doesn't look like it now, but I haven't actually run that much further. I must admit though, I wore them uh, down at home recently in the mud while well, the sand, and they've got a little bit filthy, but 
you can see they're still in pretty good shape. This is the On Cloud Surfer and it's pretty much my go-to shoe when I'm feeling fit and I'm doing decent mileage, which I am at the moment, I am wearing the Cloud Surfer. Not this exact pair, because hence they've still got the chip in them. But there's something noticeable about these when I pick them up. They're much heavier than the Cloud Surfer I wear at the moment. And that is because Dun, dun, dun. We'll get there in a moment. Inside them, I have these. And these are my orthotics. A bit of a story with these, because that was a real turning point um, after the Comrades Ultra. I did a huge amount of training, as I expect you can imagine, and I became really running conditioned. And it got to the stage where, it was around the Brighton Marathon time, so April last year, the Comrades race was in June, that I was starting to feel really strong and wanted to take my orthotics out and run in an entirely neutral shoe, but chatted with my coach and we thought that it's just not worth risking it. I've got this far without an injury and you know, I obviously want to get through that 87 kilometers. But after that, I had quite a long break and then I just eased myself back in and I said goodbye to orthotics, having run in orthotics since 2002. So it had been a very long journey. Okay, it's probably time that I headed up to the attic and went in search of a pair of shoes that might need a little dusting off. So bear with me a moment. So I found a few more than I expected, but as you can probably tell from here, they are all Adidas, so I was partnered with them when I was a modern pentathlete athlete. And this pair here are the Adi Zero Flats or the Adi Zero Pro. Now these are actually just flats, no spikes. So sometimes our courses would be on varied terrain so we wouldn't actually be able to wear spikes, which disappointed me, but these are still amazingly fast feeling shoes and I definitely felt ready to race when I popped those on. And this pair though, these Adidas spikes, took it to another level. I don't know what they actually weigh. These are the Adi Star and the thought of running 5K in a pair of spikes with that little support on track right now. I wouldn't be able to walk the next day. The final two pairs are the special ones that I am delighted to be able to share with you guys. Still have them in the attic. These are my track spikes from the Beijing Olympics. Now I ran to a silver medal wearing this very pair and yeah, just look at them. They are super lightweight. They were designed to be super airy with all the holes in. The technology back then is obviously, it's come on quite a long way because gosh, that's 12 years ago. It makes me feel very old, but um, yeah, super light, um, lots of air for the heat that was in um, Beijing and just really quite cool. But finally, this pair, you're probably guessing, are not a performance pair of shoes, but they do have the all important Union Jack on the tongue here because these were our parade wear shoes. And these are the very trainers that I stood on the podium wearing. Right, I'm gonna dash through these next few pairs. There's a selection of shoes for different types of racing and I'm gonna start off with the Cloud Venture Peak from On. These are an old pair. They actually have a new model now, which are white. And I have some, but I must admit they're designed for off-road trail running and I don't wanna get them dirty, which is a bit ridiculous. But this pair have been well-worn and you can see I even have my elastic laces. Yes, I do sometimes do some speedy transitions and I use these in a beach triathlon and they're perfect because super thin, so they dry really quickly, but super grippy at the same time. So yeah, that's that pair. Now you're gonna to have to forgive me for this next pair because they're a little on the worn side. And these shoes, I want to take this opportunity to explain because the amount of times people have accused me of wearing odd shoes and saying, why did you go and buy one white shoe and one black? I didn't. This is what Adidas gave me. And these shoes have done many cross country seasons. They are spikes, as you can see here. And there is just something you can't beat about putting on a pair of spikes and getting ready to get muddy and hurt. That hard, fast racing in the winter is just a great endorphin rush. And sadly though, I think these spikes have probably had their last season this year and they might be heading to the bin. But um, yeah, we've had some fun times together. 
These are the Cloud Rush from On and they are the racing flats. Oh my goodness, they feel so fast. I must admit, I've had these for a long time. They've been sitting in the box because I don't personally feel that I am fast enough to actually justify wearing a shoe like this. I mean, maybe I could wear them to the gym, but that's probably criminal, isn't it? Um, in all honesty though, you might have been following Mark and I on our 5K journey, and I do have to try to beat my 5K PB in just a few weeks time. And I might be needing, well, I definitely will be needing every little help I can get. So maybe it's time for these to come out of the box. I did warn you, I love my shoes. And even if it did used to be the more heeled version, I now at my age go for comfort and practicality. But hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of my shoe journey and the selection that I've shared with you guys today. If you've got any questions about any of the shoes that I wear or have worn, do let me know in the comments section below and check out our social media channels and give them a like and a follow.